Okay, yo, what is going on, guys? It is your favorite YouTuber here. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it is the Dev King here, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to script or make your first script and print. So yeah, let's get right into it. So all you're gonna want to do is go to the workspace on your Explorer, and you're gonna click the plus button, and then type in scripts, and that's how you have your script. Now just delete all this stuff. We don't need it right now, but. Um, this is how you print, okay? So printing basically is just like putting stuff in the output. So I can print um, the Dev King is awesome, and it'll go right here. Now the thing is about this is is that it's not really, it won't really show in your game at all. Like it's not going to show anywhere in your game, but it's very useful for learning how to script and actually like, scripting itself because you can fix like what's wrong, figure out what's wrong with your code. So printing is very useful later later on down the line. But anyways, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that in the first video because it's very important. So, you're going to want to go ahead and just type print into the script, okay? Uh, print, and then you're going to want to put in parentheses, uh, one parenthesis, and then one quotation mark, and then you're going to type in whatever you want. So I'm going to put the dev king is awesome, okay? Now, obviously, this is very true, <laughs> but um, you can print whatever you want. Just make sure it's in quotation marks and it's in parentheses, okay? So if it's like this then that won't work. You need to make sure it's quotation mark and then quotation mark and it's parenthesis uh, around parenthesis, okay? So yeah, you understand what I mean. So you're gonna go on a good, you're gonna wanna go ahead and hit play and it's gonna load up my game. Do, 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 do. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but it's gonna load up my game and you're gonna see the Dev King is awesome in the, um, in the script or in the output, my bad. So it's really cool because it shows you whatever you want and yeah. So, now I'm going to teach you how to print numbers, okay? So if you're printing a number, you just want to go ahead and delete all this. I'm going to delete this. And if you're printing a number, you're going to type in print, just like you were before. And you're going to type the number in and then put it in put another parenthesis, okay? No quotation marks for numbers. Numbers are called integers. So if you're integers, that means numbers, okay? And number your num <laughs> numbers, okay? Um, integers are not surrounded by quotation marks, okay? Only strings are, which was what the text was. So you're gonna go ahead and hit play, and obviously, you guessed it, it's gonna print five. And it printed five. And now a cool thing you can do with printing is you can print five plus five. So you guys know that is 10, obviously, but it's really cool because you can like literally use Robux as a calculator if you want. <laughs> but I mean, I'm sure that's not what you wanna learn uh, scripting for, but you could. So yeah. So um, five times, and the time symbol is the um, star, and then um, yeah, and then subtraction is obviously the minus. And I'll go into all those later because they're not that important right now. Uh, another thing you want to learn about printing is the fact that you can print um, like uh, like decimal values too. So you can type in print point three, okay, and it'll print point three obviously. Give that a second to load. All right, and print point three. So that's pretty much all I need to cover in printing right now, guys. It's kind of simple. So this tutorial is probably really short, but that's okay because it gets it gets the you know the message across. So, anyways, I'm gonna teach you one short thing that's really important for scripting, and then um, yeah, we'll be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter twice just to get some space. Okay, and basically if you put two minus symbols or two dashes in like the script in your script it'll actually add a comment so i can do comment all right that's, that's what that is it's a comment so i can do this comment is awesome okay <laughs> i spelled awesome wrong but awesome and yeah the the script or the the, like the executor which is the script um will actually ignore the comment so i can print this and it'll ignore this, like it won't read the comment because it, there's two dashes or two minuses behind it. So it's really useful for knowing like, or like, you know, like keeping notes in your code. And it's, I use it a lot, um, but it, it's good, really good practice to actually use it a lot. So yeah, and you can put it like anywhere you want basically. I just wouldn't put it like in here because um, it would comment the rest of the line out. So don't put it like in a line like that. But yeah, that's pretty simple. And uh, if you guys, for, if you guys um, wanna, if you guys want to see more tutorials, then make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.